Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to feature M7 light tank um, hidden in American tree uh, with unlimited autoloader. By saying this I mean this tank is having absolutely insane reload time and if you are wondering what kind of equipment I was using while I was grinding this tank I was going for ventilation, rammer and optics and obviously I was using extractions and so on and I want to share you three very very good games with this vehicle and the first things first how to get this tank. You are going to American Tech Tree and you are clicking here aka into the um, collector's vehicles and you can see there is plenty of the tanks which you can actually buy uh, if you haven't um, already so feel free to check it out maybe you will find some hidden gems as T67 and so on uh, the second thing is which I really want to highlight even though they are collector vehicles you still need to grind through the modules and this is the right gun to use the 75 alpha damage gun is absolutely outrageous it is insane how good that is and the main reason because of the gold penetration you are shredding through everyone like a hot knife through the butter very 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 easily and uh, if you are wondering how many games we needed to play with this vehicle we needed to play 67 games in order to get rid of it uh, we finished everything with a 68 percent win ratio which is very good in my opinion 1.2 thousand damage which is amazing and 850 assisting damage and as you can see up to 100 percent we needed 1.5 thousand combined and now without further ado i believe we can start teleporting into the games and first two games are going to be massive in the damage uh, considering it is 75 alpha damage per shot 10 shots is uh, um, 750 alpha damage if you are rolling in the medium and uh, 20 shots one and a half thousand and so on so on believe me we did way more than that and you will see everything yourself so without further ado let's teleport into the action shall we and the very first battle is going to be in tundra very very strong map if you would ask me well strong map by saying that is uh, a lot of people do not like tundra and i cannot blame you for this fellas it is completely understandable why because the map itself is definitely not created for the tanks like light tanks and everything so you will see our approach we have a middle tier matchmaking we are playing against the tier 6 and the tier 4s uh, and this is our second best damage game why am i showing this as a priority because this is the most exciting game in my opinion speaking about how the game will go so first things first we have three guns which is going over there well four guns if we are talking if we are calling a duck a gun which i don't really think we can do that and our team doing whatever flying if, we, if they want we have cover two which is um trying to snipe from the back and everything so i just messed up the first shot but like i said this time you have unlimited auto loader and you will see that yourself you are bursting everyone like crazy and speaking about the standard penetration standard penetration is 105 millimeters which is for a tier 5 not too bad but gold 170 and this gold penetration is absolutely ridiculous it is very very strong plus on top of that you are a light tank so you have very very good uh, camo and you can actually spot enemies without bigger problems whatsoever especially whenever you are meeting the tanks uh, which is obviously weaker than you are uh, i had many carries with this game uh, with this tank overall uh, but i can tell you that this game stuck into my memory and you will see very uh, everything very very soon so now just chill relax take it easy and see how we can do the things uh, in my opinion hill is one of the most important positions which we can take in this uh, um, in this map why so because upper ground is always nice meanwhile lux is trying to make a bit of depression and watch this this is absolutely crazy i am trying to annoy this mother tracker quite a bit and we punished him a couple of times obviously i missed one shot but now fellas this is going to be a highlight of this vehicle look at this cover two is firing once cover two missed and now pay attention at this we loaded up the apcr ammunition well for one shot up the ass and now we are shredding this guy 
Look at this. Non-stop damage. Schnei, 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 schnei. Absolutely disgusting. Even Katita is saying I cannot stand this uh, anymore and I am gone. So this is the this is in a way tank which is very very um, similar to Ram 2. I believe you know the tier 5 uh, premium American medium tank. And now, fellas, soon you will see how this tank can bully other light tanks. And uh, I am thinking about helping our guys there. And even though, well, I suppose to, I was thinking cover 2 will be completely fine. And he will bang the living hell out of the looks and out of the ELC. But I was very, very wrong. And I was thinking, do I want to help him? I don't want to help him. Do I want to help him? I, don't, I do not want to help him. And to be fair with you, I do not really want to fight against the two light tanks by my own so far we have 1069 damage yep i aim at for that 69 for obvious reasons but wait this is only the start uh, the battle is extremely equal and we are losing by a bit of hp but 500 hp to be fair with you is not humongous loss by any means meanwhile lux is trying to escape and look at this and one for the team for lux two for the team i do not want to get bursted by him so i escape it and i see the elc is trying to flank us so what that means that means auto aim on and now look how powerful this thing is it is absolutely disgusting now look elc is trying to escape Escape. We are having out time locked and now Yeah, I mean this is absolutely disgusting and this is unlimited auto loader and yeah even though we all see He had the um, Turret he was using the stock gun because he wants to have the full rotation as you can see that definitely did not help it for him we lost absolutely no hp whatsoever but in the same time we lost the heal but you know what sometimes it is wise to give the heal for the enemies especially um in the end game whenever you can claim the tank life literally for free i would say this is uh, a good trade and plus on top of that looks good easily clip the living hell out of us so so far we shot two gold shells in this battle and both of those gold shells if i'm not mistaken was into the cover two which is completely understandable although that wasn't necessary although speaking about the gold shells um, now we are going to load more of them by the way reload time of this tank like i said is very good but aim time is dreadful Aim time of this vehicle is so disgusting, it's not even funny how disgusting that is. Uh, but as you can see, since we are losing this game, I decided to uh, pump a couple of the gold shells into the P40, um, into the P40 or P26-40, however you would call this tank. It is just the right way to do the things. And obviously we are paying a humongous attention at the map and we are seeing the looks and PT7 beating the living crap out of our bitch gun. Uh, but once again, what can you do? Sometimes Arta needs to be sacrificed for a better luck like in pagan times uh, they were doing with the uh, goats, right? No offense, Artas, we love you with all our heart, but uh, a hashtag never lucky for you. And look at this. Um, we pretty much farm it looks kind of fully, which is very nice. And now we can do the same thing with a PT-7. And yeah, I know some people definitely do not like the high uh, DPM gun and uh, low damage but uh, it is uh, it is very 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 strong uh, option and as you can see you are shredding through the everyone uh, obviously if you are hitting your shots meanwhile fellas we still have three tanks left enemies have five tanks left although bt7 is getting absolutely destroyed and the looks just clipped the living hell out of us but you know what it doesn't really change anything because uh, um, now he cannot escape and that was a humongous mistake by this guy and obviously he cannot do anything about this so we have two artists left and p43 best p43 best have 200 alpha damage so yeah he pretty much can one shot us and once again i do not really um want to mess with him too much uh, for obvious reasons because this battle is not victory yet and even though we have a smarter uh, players in our team but well speaking about the smarter players in our team are you sure about this uh p43 eliminated a starva from the game which is quite sad thing but it is how it is now i am uh, my main mission uh, is to slaughter artists okay very nice arta 
um, Arta shot, Arta missed, but now we have a bit of the problem, fellas. By saying a bit of the problem, we have a Mr. Grille, which is... Uh, um, which punished me for my stupidity. Not much what I can change about this. Quickly fixing the uh, loader, and now there is a Grille right there. Tracking shot to the Mr. Grille. Grille is not very happy, but unfortunately for him, he cannot do absolutely anything. We are sitting on the 4 kills over 3000 damage, and uh, pretty much both of us are very very weak against the p43 beast so this is situation one versus two uh luckily we have a friend and uh, even more lucky for us our friend is actually smart and uh, he can't be one shot and unless p43 beast will reload the high explosive ammunition speaking about the beast is trying to be the living crap out of us i need to uh, in order to kill him i need five shells in uh, uh, I need pretty much to connect five shells into his face if we want to eliminate him one by one and I am down to fartable. So to be fair with you, I don't really think we can afford this. And what am I thinking? I am thinking the T67 is right here, very, very close to us. Well, how about if we would invite him into Platoon Trick Brother in Arms, which is always nice. And you know I'm taking the free Brother in Arms medal all the time. But as you can see, P43 is not silly. He is not moving like this. So what kind of uh, other option this guy can can make obviously he have six kills so he knows what he's doing so what am i thinking i am thinking he should go like this so i am even checking there and i'm thinking no mother trucker where the flying f are you uh, but as you can see the guy is not getting spotted which is very very interesting so where the flying f the p43 bis is still checking trying to figure out where uh from where he is trying to approach us and uh I guess fellas did we guess correctly from where he is coming or not really this is the question huh what do you think sure thing we guessed correctly 337 hp now look at this um luckily for us our guy is accepting the medal we are hitting him in the face with a gold ammunition and our um t67 have extremely good dpm and plus on top of that if it is not enough he is uh, he's actually smart he knows what he is doing and he knows he needs to make a hardcore pressure otherwise it is going to be game over and two tier 5 shitters are winning the game against one tier 6 tank Skill what he could do differently that tier 6 tank could go into the cap and now we and then we would have a completely different situation But you know what enemy fail is our victory don't you think so let's teleport into the other game and next game is going to be the best Damage game with this tank by the way we had 3.3 thousand damage uh, With a 75 alpha damage gun that's crazy don't you think so Lego and we are back for a second game Fellas, one thing which I truly want to highlight about this vehicle is Katya. <laughs> it is late in the night when I am recording this video, so Katite is very, very close, and Katite is saying, Speak with me, Mother Tracker, speak, play. Uh, and she is demanding for some attention. What I wanted to say, I wanted to say, um, it is very very important thing to highlight with light tanks not all the time you can actually spot sometimes you need to do damage for example tundra i mean what can you spot there absolutely nothing so you need to uh, switch your thinking from being a light tank and spotting for doing damage for obvious reasons obviously when you can spot that's very very good and that's always enjoyable but as you can see some sometimes you just cannot afford this and this is one of those games uh what usually light tanks are doing in this map from this side going there from this side going there or going somewhere in the middle that's it and trying to spot in some situations it is impossible to do that and it's simply not worth it so in this kind of situation i decided to go into the heavy line for obvious reasons to try to get as much damage as possible i'm paying attention on them and to the max map and i notice that there is a t uh, 3485m and i am immediately loading gold for obvious reasons because we are dealing with one of the most powerful tier 6 tanks in the game and this battle fellas is going to be a bloody farming simulator every single 
single time whenever enemies are going to make a mistake we are going to smack them in the face and this is going to be pretty damn beautiful watch this uh one more thing which i want to highlight if you are playing from this side and you are playing with heavy tank or anything else just don't take this side because it's just not worth it because usually whenever um the south side can take this and this a uh, control um in other words control uh this upper side for the uh, for the south spawn it's just easier and if you will pay um, if you will try to make a pressure like this guy did or those guys uh, did which you are going to see in a second you will see this is just a uh, disgusting situation for them and even though Kava one is having a derp gun I absolutely have zero of given because I see whenever he is shooting we are going to kill him and look at this they have nowhere to retreat they are sitting in the open field and we are saying hello dear we are burning him like a bonfire and we are having pretty damn good time obviously as you can see uh, both of the Kava ones they are playing in platoon so one of the mates said Davai let's go and take this position yeah wrong very very wrong that wasn't very smart and now we are pumping the massive 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 dpm into their face as you can see yourself it was insanity both of those couple ones disappeared we had some distraction aka our guys was uh they fighted like like a man you know you hit me once i hit you once one on one or one on five however you would call this but in uh, um, in the end of the day I was that sneaky mother trucker which got the most use because I did not lost a single bit of HP and in the same time I beat the living crap out of him so right here look at this close range auto aim easy peasy lemon squeeze and now we are beating the living hell out of the uh, panzer which is playing here and even though panzer is looking at us luckily we teamed up with our uh, with our ELC bis and we slaughtered him pretty much very very nice uh, what are my concerns about this tank uh, and uh, would I recommend would I say this tank is the most broken tank in the game which everyone should have no not really I do not really think this tank is the best vehicle in the world of tanks but what I can tell uh, it can be a hidden gem for some people which prefers to have a crazy dpm and which like spank other asses for example this uh, poor rudy i mean he can literally go and f himself because he have absolutely no chance to do anything and this is the most enjoyable part with this tank obviously with this vehicle you can also go and spot for obvious reasons since it is a light tank and at the same time obviously you have this insanity burst fire obviously the gun handling from the longer ranges is not that epic as majority of us would love to see but it is completely fine so only two enemies left our team is winning the game uh, i like the most from this game the oi which is traveling through the middle in this map but uh, it is completely fine now let's speed the things up until uh, we will hunt the living hell out of the cover 2 and churchill it will take approximately uh, 10 seconds for us to find them and uh, my initial guess they will go for a base defense but as you can see it is not the case and we found both of those beautiful mother truckers right here and after all fellas they took this position but now look at this and this is the funnest part of everything and one for the team and two for the team and three for the team by the way replay is not sped up and four for the team and five for the team and six for the team yeah that's how fast you are doing damage with this tank uh, it is absolutely amazing now look this is the moment where every single player would shit their pants and to be fair with you i i shit my pants too a bit but you know what we are completely fine now we have apcrs loaded cover two he hit us uh, he did not manage to penetrate us and you know what that's unlucky for him because let's get real cover two should be able to beat the living crap out of us but uh, um unfortunately for him he failed meanwhile church is churchill is like a tourist uh, he's traveling all over the place and watch this first shot miss unfortunately second shot hit now the third shot hit and the fourth shot can i 
thank you game thank you that's very very kind of you uh yeah sure well not much what we can do about this in the end of the day we obviously died uh, but i would say it was a great game either way a 3.5 thousand damage this is the most damages i managed to do with this tank and obviously um 200 assisting damage which is bringing us to 3.7 thousand combined remember 75 alpha damage we actually hit 50 shells with this tank and we penetrated 50 shells or something like this absolutely crazy that's why i am saying this time have unlimited auto loader and that's why i'm highlighting this vehicle and i know some of you uh loves to play lower tier so why not to test this vehicle out maybe you will feel uh maybe you will uh, fell in love with this time you never know last but not least i'm going to show the map where we uh, spotted quite a bit of damage we did quite a bit of damage but uh it is not my best spotting game because the best spotting games are usually malinovka kempinovka uh prokurovka i mean those are uh not the maps which i want to show you because you know exactly how it's looking like so let's teleport there shall we and we are back for a third game but not least game katita out of nowhere decided to jump here. No, Katya. Здорово. Оп. Это вас Катита Курлс. Ну, Катя, do you want to be in the video? You want to be in the video. Okay, by the looks of it, fellas, Katita is leading this one. Okay, Katita said, and the shit I'm out. Okay, fair enough. Bye-bye, Katita. Okay, look. Uh, this is pretty damn... Um, good map for a light tank usually there is quite some good positions from where you can spot and from where you can be the living crap out of the enemies for example this is the safe bush here this is the safe bush safe bush safe bush i mean you can sit wherever flying if you want this is a safe bush uh, it is easy to take and usually enemies are not countering those positions and if you are feeling extra risky you can go like this and take this bush then you are finding absolutely uh, amazing angles and this is how you can be the living hell out of the enemies right but sometimes situation is a bit different sometimes uh, your team is deciding to play in the valley yeah I hate valley uh, play but sometimes it happens you don't need to give up uh, you can still get quite a bit of use especially from this side and in my opinion usually defending this side is easier than defending this side and as you can see i notice at the max map i see the sterva uh, and panzer we have pretty much two guns and some bushwankers in the middle and what i decided to do i decided to f off from here because it just simply not war to be aggressive so i am taking another very very typical position which i believe quite some of you are familiar with uh you can pretty much snipe from here you can spot from here and this position overall is working very very well so this battle is going to be mixed assisting damage and uh, damage deal so uh now you will be surprised i'm not going to stay here for a long time and the main reason why because uh, this position is not that super duper hyper turbo safe as i would love it to be plus on top of that if you are shooting you can get uh, uh, spotted extremely easily and it might sound bad from my side to shoot there but i am feeling completely fine with this because i have a different idea i want to craft a different bush and to have a different position at the first place and as you can see i am joining our esterva here and the main reason why am i doing there uh, this um because i knock a couple of trees down now this position is so much better because there is no more gap over there which was before those trees are making the uh, life so much easier and if you have time you can pretty much be like a woodcutter uh, you can uh, cut all those trees there and you can even move like this so you are having a bit different angles but in this kind of situation it doesn't really matter so look at this how it works we are not that much in front in the same time if we really need to escape we can go zoomed like this and simply uh, run away like there is no tomorrow and the main reason why i'm not shitting my pants there because we have the a plague in uh, in the tier 6 tier 5 matchmaking skill what do you mean plague what the flying if that uh, means and yes i learned how to spell it crazy right uh, 
The main and the most important thing is 3 Jeffs and 1 for the team and 2 for the team and 4 for the team uh, plus we have a Lev Hush which is just absolutely ridiculous and as you can see every single person who is trying to make a bit of pressure they are taking one for the team meanwhile very nice blind shot from 60 GFT that was absolutely adorable but you know what even though this uh, beautiful soul uh, went for a blind shot and I'm proud of him uh, this blind shot will cost for him quite a bit and he died just because he was blind firing me and uh, uh, I was thinking okay he's down to one shotable why the heck not to take his life so far we are not winning this battle and our um, valley warriors are kind of melting because of the three artists and you are very very well aware of that but once again we do not need to be afraid we came back to the same bush once again and even though enemies have artists uh, enemies are so much more busy uh, by beating the living crap out of the one two line in the valley enemy artists won't blind shot this right they there is no point for them to do that the data am I bothering you? This is, this is what I need to deal with, fellas. Uh, if I am recording the YouTube video and Katita is demanding for some attention, this is what we need to deal with. But you know what? She's my owner and I am going to be completely fine. While we are paying a humongous attention to Katita, you can see that yourself we managed to farm 2.5 thousand assisting damage out of nowhere and we got uh, um, a kill, we got 300 damage and so on so on and this is about the time for us to start being more involved our team is winning by the three guns already which is always nice and always welcome which is very very good if you would ask me um and obviously we are winning by 1000 hp plus on top of that we are full on hit points ourselves so we can be more involved so far we did not fire a single gold shell because it was completely unnecessary for us and i was thinking about ramming this uh, um esterva as you can see even raised my PP but unfortunately I failed so uh, it is about the time to eliminate him from the game in the different way but that's completely fine there is another Polish uh, tier 5 shitter which is waiting here in the corner and we are sending him back to the garage because it is about the time we have three kills we have 700 damage 2.6 thousand assisting damage and our team is getting so much more involved into the game itself um, as you can see, Estherva, Chinukai, Estherva, which is in the back, T34, Stug, and the same cover one is still shitting his pants into the valley. But once again, he did a pretty damn good job by holding enemy forces, and I hope uh, uh, this decision paid off for him. At least that's what I am ho um, hoping for. Meanwhile, Arta is yelling, Da Suka. Well, you know, he had exciting game and very, very interesting game, I, uh, I think. At least by the looks of it, he enjoyed himself. Uh, meanwhile, the um, cover 2 have 69 HP. I'm trying to beat the living crap out of him. And I hit him, but unfortunately we did not finish it. him off, which doesn't really change anything. Even though uh, I would love to get one more kill, but you know what? It doesn't really change anything. Meanwhile, I am inviting our Levhash to platoon, which is once again another free brother in arms medal, which I'm addicted to. And we are going for the last kill. Clicker is right here. Beautiful auto aim and GG finito game over. Uh, it was looking like pretty damn pathetic battle from the very first moment there because our team left absolutely everything here for enemies but light tank in the certain bush either here either here can pretty much save the battle because once again we are spotting everyone which is trying to make pressure like this and those guys um, they are ending up in the open field and if they are ending up in the open field it is pretty much game over for them so sometimes light tank can be very very important so let's teleport into the scoreboard and let's sell the m6 what do you think fellas let's do this and we are back fellas we are in the leaderboard already uh the tundra map which i shared the first battle it was very very good game and i am very happy with this solid ace wanker we have pascuki medal high caliber confederate brother in arms always nice to rig one of those and 
Is it me or we really get brother in arms in every match? Oh no, you died in the second one, never mind. 1.5 base experience, we fired 62 times, 49 direct hits, 45 penetrations. Extremely, extremely good score and we made 43,000 credit profits which is always nice and welcome in the second game which we had we fired a bit more gold ammunition which is understandable uh we have ace wanker we have orlix medal we have top gun we have high caliber uh, we got 1.6 base experience three and a half thousand damage 200 assisting damage we fired 56 shells 47 diary hits 46 penetrations this is very 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 good rate uh for hits um, and we made 12,000 credits even with a couple of the gold shells. And now, like I said, uh, we had... Uh it wasn't the best assisting damage game, but I wanted to share that because if you would pay attention, Prokurovka, not very exciting, everyone knows how to play Prokurovka, uh, Mannheim Liner, however it's called, sit in the middle bush, very easy games, another Prokurovka, another Mannheim Line. so I decided to go with the Lakeville and the game itself was pretty damn good, so hopefully it will help you to defend the base whenever your team is deciding to play in the valley. So what do we have? Yeah, 1,000 damage, 2.8,000 assisting damage, Ace Wanker, we have Patrol Duty, Brother in Arms, which is always welcome. Only 1.1 base experience, but for assisting damage, you are not getting that much experience, although looking into the credits, 47,000 credits a profits, which is always nice and always welcome. And now, with the moment which I was waiting for quite some time, 69% win ratio goes down there. Hell, fellas, it is about the time to sell this vehicle and uh, say good night for this tank. Two, four, nine, eight, three, zero. Thank you very much, M74 serving. We are done. No more. That's it, fellas. M7 is going down the hill. So once again, thank you very much for watching, my friends. I hope you had a great time and I hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, and that was your daily dose of skill. I know it is lower tier, uh, but to be fair with you, sometimes uh, lower tier is also important and I believe there is quite some people which is playing with them. And yes, I know the lower tier is not getting as much views as a tier 10s, uh, but from time to time to add a bit variety into our uh, uh, videos, it is not that bad, especially when we are finishing the tanks off and making best of, you know. Um, and thank you very much for watching fellas that was your daily dose of skill and see you very very soon skill is out peace Pachoo.